Meet Adam and Julia. A year ago, they decided to settle in Florida, found their dream neighborhood, and bought a house that was built in the 70s. So you bought this house, and you started improving it immediately in the backyard <laughs> first. What did you guys do back there? Well, we built a seawall, a new boat dock and left, and uh, a pool. You know, this being right on the water, I'm assuming we're in a flood zone, so we're going to have to elevate this, right, quite a bit? Yes. Safety is a concern. We want to make sure Absolutely. it's a safe house. We want to go up as high as we can and have a better view. I want high ceilings. One. Makes, makes I can about, yeah, that definitely is going to happen. Uh, we need space for her parents because yes. they come and visit for okay. long, long periods of time. So you need a guest room for them. Yes. And plus you have the two girls, right? Yes. So yes. four bedrooms for sure. And then three or four bathrooms. What do you envision the, the kind of feel and look to be like? Uh, I need straight, clean lines, not too much color. Whatever she wants, she gets. I like it. Let's go check okay. out the backyard. Very impressive. You did good, Julia. This will be a first. You know, we're kind of working with the outdoor space to inspire the indoor space. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a general idea what you're looking for, but now we need to really work on customizing this home specifically for you. What do you like about really it? Really pretty. Everything. I <laughs> oh, like man. the white and the black window frames. Those garages split up. Ah, symmetrical, symmetrical. Symmetrical, clean lines. <laughs> it looks exactly like how I pictured our house would look like. What about the taller doors for you, Adam? That's eight foot? Yep. That's perfect, yeah. So you won't be bumping your head. And I do like how it just feels open as soon as you get inside. I like this big sink. Don't like so much the countertop. But I think it's too dark for us. I think we would go more with a lighter color. Probably lighter cabinet. Probably white. I like white. She really likes that clean look. Yeah. So we are demolishing Adam and Julia's house today. All right, Pat, let's fire it up. Oh, boy, is this the right lock? I don't know if it's just me, but this is huge. We're ready to get approval on their dream home today. So the facade of this home is going to have a very modern, sleek look to it. And your entry smack dab in the middle and symmetrical. All right. I like that. We're going to bring it up to 14 feet in the air. This thing is going to be plenty safe for any storm that is thrown away. The whole first floor is basically going to be storage. Mm -hmm. When you walk in, it'll open up into this beautiful, open concept. Super tall ceilings throughout. And we decided to make every single door eight feet tall. So you're not going to hit your head in the ceiling or the doors anymore. Nice. <laughs> You'll have a guest room to the right. All right. So when your family comes, they're going to have their own little private retreat. And then from there, you'll have the other three bedrooms on the left side of the home. Looks good. Coming off the master, you have direct access to the covered patio. Yeah. And then directly below that, you have another covered patio. Sounds good to me. We're about ready uh, to start yeah. building. No turning back now. Let's yeah. go. This is a unique build for us, because we usually build on empty land. This one had an old house on it. So Julia is going to be a huge help because she knows where all the underground plumbing and electrical is for this pool system. We got to make sure we do not touch any of that. Let's go. After we got the footers dug, we laid plumbing and electric, got the slab poured, and now we're going vertical. Near the water, we have to do cinder block for the whole second floor. So a ton more work, but uh, we're going to build this house one brick at a time. So I picked out some samples today that hopefully will make the decision making process easier for you and we can get this thing rocking. This here is not going to work for us. We need something at least this big. Oh my gosh, thank goodness that she's not much taller, because I feel <laughs> like she would stretch to the end of this table. Ginormous would be the word. Less Ooh. grout, more tire. That's what I would like. Spray foam insulation went in super quick, so time to start getting this drywall up. Let's go. Ah! Ooh. Hello. Well, that is a grand Mac Daddy entry. I'm here to start brainstorming a special project for the family. Walking in and seeing this, that view is amazing. I figure they're going to have some seating areas out here. Yeah. Probably a dining room. The only thing is, being this close to the water, there's going to be bugs galore out here. So let me make a couple calls and see what I can do. OK. Obviously, we know we want bigger tiles, that's for sure. What about the size of this one? Nah, not big enough. OK. Yeah, I knew nah. that was going to be. Need to go bigger. I like that one. Uh, beige. I like that one. Also to beige. <gasps> I see this one. Look at this. Oh, boy. You know what happens when she starts hugging it? That's the one. I like it. So the tile that Julia fell in love with is going to cost us, with labor, $15,000. That's $7,000 over our budget. That's a huge decision if they're going to move forward with that. No, I mean, I, li I like the tile, too. I it's super pretty. It, I mean, you think it's, it's going to add value to the home if we ever did need to sell. So 
I think we have to. It's do gonna it. make the house look even bigger too. You like, got me. I said it. It's good. We're gonna get it. She Can always... I place orders? Yes, please. Yes. You better hurry up before. I know. I, I know. With this extra installation, I'm going now. Things are moving along really nicely over here at Adam and Julia's dream home. We got painting started. We got tile that's just arrived. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get my hands on these, mainly because it's gonna be a great workout. The biggest struggle is we can't install the kitchen cabinets, countertops, or backsplash until this tile is down, dried, and set up. Boy, this is the biggest tile I've ever installed in my life. Now that the tiles are down, grouted, and dry, we can install the kitchen. We're going with white cabinets to give Julia that clean look she wants, and then we're installing that beautiful countertop. My hands are sweating a little bit because if we drop this, not only do we lose the countertop, we break all this fresh tile we just laid. The whole look will really complement the tile floors, which are such a statement in this home. If you remember, there was a beautiful palm tree right here in front of Adam and Julia's old house. Well, good news is we were able to save that. It's always cool when you can kind of put it back in the earth and not uh, waste it, so. Oh my gosh. Ah! Guess what? I accidentally dug into a line for their sprinkler system. It's actually frustrating because this is not the first, but the second pipe we've cut into for this project. Luckily, this patch of the irrigation system is gonna be a cheap and quick one. The irrigation guys are here right now, so it's a quick fitter we have to put on and probably gonna cost us like 50 bucks and maybe 10 minutes. The good news is when you're planting palms, you wanna make sure you have wet soil to avoid air pockets. So I'm gonna say I did this on purpose. We have about 10 days left here in Adam and Julia's dream home, and uh, one of the biggest items we still have to put in is this huge entryway. It's gonna be black, it's gonna be sleek, and it's really gonna give that modern look this house is looking for. Ooh! What do you think? That is cool. This retractable screen, Meek and I just thought it'd be a great idea for summertime when there's bugs, bring the screen down, okay. and beautiful days like today. Roll them up, enjoy the breeze. No bugs. This is gonna be a really cool special project. Unique, too, you don't see these very much. Tomorrow's a big day. Every different decision that we've made on the design is all coming together, and it is really starting to look like a home. Oh my gosh, I hate to cover up these beautiful tiles, I but- I know, all the work we did on these tiles, we're gonna cover them up. Yeah, but we need something nice and cozy in this area, so I actually took this couch from their temporary housing, which nice. is amazing because it's already comfy, it's something familiar. And it's super heavy. I gotta pin with my knees. Today is a big day for Adam and Julia. It's reveal day. I just hope it looks exactly how you want it to look or else I'm in trouble. It better be. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at this. I can awesome. say this looks exactly how I pictured it and I don't know if this is how you I'm pictured it. I'm so shaking. It. Yeah? <laughs> ready. I like these stairs. It's a grand entry. It is. It is. <laughs> Adam, you don't have to duck. Look at that. That's nice. Look. Whoa. <laughs> this is great. That's cool. Adam, yes. look at my tire pick. These are awesome. Check out the kitchen. A little bit different than the previous kitchen, right? Yes. It is. I'm so happy that we picked this countertop. It looks great with this I like the color. Right the here. color turned out perfect. Yeah. All of your finishes, if you look from the backsplash to the countertop to the two-tone island, all work together. I love this. Where are we going next? We know your family comes to visit, so. They got their own wing. Oh, this is okay. awesome. When your parents aren't here, this folds up in stores. That's, That's cool. cool. Where are we going next? It's wing. Kids wing. This is so pretty. Lots of storage. That's good. Got a little homework station. Yeah, it's perfect. And they both have their own bathrooms, but they share a shower. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm done with spoiling the kids. We gotta spoil you guys. <laughs> Look at this. On the way, we That's can awesome. stop here. Our old couch. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I thought you would recognize old that. Baseball. How different does the view look now? Well, let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this view. It's awesome. Look it how high looks we are. Totally different. So, we have a surprise for you. Check that out. Gives you a little bit of shade, keeps the bugs yeah. out. No bugs. All the way down. You can sit here actually at night, all night. Yeah. Yeah, you just created another room for us. I love it. So nice. Are you ready to journey to the main suite? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead. This is so cool. Look, you can see the water from everywhere. Every ah, angle of the room. Wait till you see what's around the corner in your bathroom. I think you're gonna be pretty pleased. Ooh, wow. This is a big shower. <laughs> that is a huge shower. Should we go check out the best view in the house, which is your backyard? Let's see. Okay. I cannot wait to show you this. This is nice and convenient to get to the 
outdoor space and pool area. Whoa, Adam. This is where we're gonna hang out all the this time. This is awesome. This is a whole nother living area. The whole goal was to make it seem like everything was built at the same time. Seamless. It does look seamless. Mm -hmm. That looks great. Thanks for letting us be part of your process and your journey. We hope that you guys make many happy memories in this home. We love it. I don't ever want to move again. This is unbelievable. I love it. <laughs>